In this video, we will cover American Aldus ZRTs, or Zone Register Terminals. ZRTs are used in an inline fan system and provide a way to selectively vent several spaces with a single inline fan. They look like a normal ceiling grill, but we'll find out why they're different in this video. They're unique and they provide a truly zoned approach where each space gets just the ventilation it needs and spaces that don't need to be ventilated don't get ventilation. The key benefits of ZRTs are a single fan can be used to ventilate multiple rooms. Ventilation happens only where it's needed. ZRTs are available to connect to four and six inch round ductwork, and special ZRTs can be used to provide continuous and spot ventilation, which comes in handy if you're trying to satisfy the ASHRAE 62.2 standard for mechanical ventilation. The ZRT looks like a standard register box. It comes complete with a white grill and a round duct connection collar. A closer look reveals the power of the ZRT, which is the motorized damper. We have created a mock-up of a two-bathroom, single-fan scenario in our studio with two ZRTs. These are both equipped with four-inch round duct collars. The ducts from the ZRTs connect to the two legs of a 4x4x4Y upstream of the fan. We'll pretend that the two grills below represent two different bathrooms, bathroom A to the right and bathroom B to the left. Let's say someone takes a shower in bathroom A and turns on the fan timer to run the fan. By removing the grill, we can actually see what's happening inside bathroom A's ZRT. Motor, the motorized damper will open, and a relay will allow power to pass through to the fan. And now we're ventilating bathroom A, and all air being exhausted by the fan is passing through the ZRT in bathroom A. You can use any switch you want with the ZRT timers, motion sensors, really any switch is fine. Because inline fans are quiet, it's a good idea to use a timer so you don't forget to turn the fan off. So let's look at the ZRT in bathroom B. It's still connected to the fan, but the damper remains closed because the switch in bathroom B is not calling for ventilation. Now switching back to bathroom A, the timing interval is done, the timer is clicked off, so the fan turns off and the damper inside the ZRT closes shut. So let's talk about balancing airflow. Let's say we've got bathroom A and bathroom B, they're both in use, switches are calling from both locations. Really cool product from American Aldus. You can use a car or constant airflow regulator to ensure that you're getting a constant amount of airflow through the ZRT all the time from each location, regardless of the amount of static pressure in the system or whether one's turned on and one's turned off, etc. The uh, car regulator inserts into the duct and has a little device inside that changes position based on the amount of static pressure in the duct, so it reduces the amount of free air in the duct when the pressure increases, thus allowing exactly the same amount of ventilation all the time. Cars are adjustable and can be customized in each situation. The last solution that we'll talk about that can be created using the ZRTs is continuous low-level ventilation all the time, along with on-demand boosted ventilation to clear out odors, humidity after a shower, etc. It's just a matter of using a different type of ZRT and allowing the inline fan to run all the time. You can see that with this ZRT, there's a small constant airflow regulator built into the damper door. This will allow a small amount of air, say 10, 20, or 30 CFM, to leak through the system all the time and to constantly remove any pollutants that build up in the house. And then we need to boost the ventilation for humidity removal or normal bathroom ventilation. You just hit your switch or your timer like you normally would. If you have any questions, please visit our website or give us a call. We appreciate you watching the video.